morning. First, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you have a great year, good health, loads of money <laughs> to buy new koi. Anyway guys, look at them all. It's 7am uh, and they are just crazy, ready to feed, breakfast. Um, it's a bit mild, isn't it? I don't know where you are in the country, but here in Hampshire, it is very, very mild. The temperatures in the pond are 13 degrees. Uh, so I know I'm fully enclosed, but 13 degrees, beginning of January, something is not quite right. So let's talk about the changes that I'm going to make on the pond. UV on my filter system. Here I have the eighteen watt inside the easy pod complete and here I have the 15 watt which I'm gonna change to a 25 watt this is the UV um, Evo 25 you can see the sticker here the same dimension as this one um, this is the new model as you can see so the feed goes through here then goes through the UV and comes out from here so in theory the bulb is, e is easier to remove from there so let's have a look at um, what's in the box a bit messy never mind okay a couple of brackets here you've got the o-rings and the and the seals everything is labeled we've got the quartz here <clears throat> which is not protected with you've got the uv in there the uh, the bulb which is protected um you've got a couple of hostels provided with the o-rings already um attached to it but i'm not going to be using that it's a very nice unit yeah very strong unit better design than the old ones so they have improved there right, so let's install it put it all together and install it so of course it doesn't come with a plug which is normal because of all the uh, the all pond equipment come with well almost all of them come with no plug so it gives you the choice to put either a waterproof plug or to put a normal plug if you've got uh, some plugs indoors or to put it directly into um you know one of these uh this the, the switch boxes you know uh, which i really don't like because it's always a problem when you want to uh, disconnect something so for me i put a normal plug because then i've got waterproof sockets which are inside the filter house so i will be putting this so for me the the best way to do it is to actually turn the unit the other way around okay so the, the writing is facing the other way around and then I just unscrew the black bit here and to make it easier to fit the, the bulb what I do is I just push it here a little bit and then I remove that white screw there cap same thing on the other side and here I just prepare it and I just push it through and this is to put literally here okay so I might as well put them on now so you just put it through here and what I do is I push it into the black black unit there Then 
I do the same on the other side. Take the quartz, which is one of the most fragile part, obviously, and I just insert it in here very, very gently because this is where they tend to break. You can touch it with your fingers, it's not a problem, but just be very careful you, when you insert it. Then what uh, Evolution Aqua provides is those O-rings that you're going to fit at the end of the quartz. Okay, so you just push the, the, the quartz a little bit. And you just place, place the O-ring at the end. And then same thing on the other side. Hate that bit. The quartz is sticking out the same distance on each side. Okay. So it's not like the old halogen bulbs that you remember you couldn't even touch them. You had to um, um, hold it with a specific um, tissue so this bit again be very careful it's all in place now you take the nuts basically and you just screw them at the end so when you screw them again just be very careful you can put the bulb before or after doesn't really matter. I tend to put it before. And then you hand tie that. No tools are needed. Sorry. And then you are left with this unit. So you've got the, the holes in there. And everything is tight, but. is now all fitted and there you go one fitted plug then I just put my cap don't know if you heard that that was my uh, it's Wednesday night it's my alarm to call my grandfather because I call him every Wednesday. The advantage of this one is that you can fit whatever you want in, in it. So here, the reason why I did that is for easy maintenance. Okay, so I can dismantle that and I put that on each side. You can put the hostel or you can put the normal fittings um, with um, and, and, and glue the pipes. But I want to go with this um, because this is a two inch pipe so I put two inch rubber boot which fits perfectly with the um, with the um, the attachment here this so for me it was the best option um, what I really like about this one is that if you wanted to replace the bulb you can unscrew this black bit here and just pull out the bulb and then obviously unscrew the other one and fit the new one without stopping the pump, which is really great. This is the bit that you mustn't unscrew, obviously, because this is for the quartz. So there you go. Um, I hope this has helped a few people who've never fitted a UV. It was a personal choice to have two UVs. Um, so one here, which is now the 25 uh, watt and the 18 watt inside the EasyPod. 
and it was a deliberate choice to have two UVs because this 18 watt is perfectly fine for the winter uh, winter and beginning of the spring and the minute the spring starts or summer starts I can then plug in this one the 25 and that gives me 1843 watt UV which is absolutely adequate for my size pond um, and at least during the winter I do not have like 55 watt running constantly winter and summer um, on, on this pond. There is no need for it. It's electric for nothing um, but at least I have an 18 watt here. Thanks very much for watching guys you all take care and i catch you on the next one